gentlemen, give the Lord a praise. Last night, in fact, throughout this week, God has been speaking to us. And many times the Lord will utter his word. Amen. He said, let him that have an heir to hear. Hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. And if a man would be a man of God, a true man of God, he will sit in the counsel of God and he would receive the word of the Lord from the mouth of the Lord. And he would say, thus said the Lord. I need a witness in here. God needs some true witnesses today. Am I talking to anybody? God needs true witnesses. Amen. God needs some honest men and women who are going to handle the word of God honestly. Not deceitfully. Somebody need to say amen. But men of God who will speak the word as it is the word of God. The unadulterated word of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. For the Bible said we are saved by the word. Come on somebody. That's why, hallelujah, you don't see folks being saved as much as we used to see them. Because now the word has become diluted. Come on, and we mix the word with human ideology. Somebody need to say amen. But Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open unto me, I will come in and I And brought the world in. See? That's why, see, we're living in a radical, very extreme generation. A generation that has been removed far away from God. And so it's going to take the potent word. The unadulterated word. Come on, somebody. But when you mix the word, it becomes weak. Yeah. Ineffective. Yeah. Have no more effect. Yeah. Speak into the air. Yeah. And we hear with our natural perceptions, our natural hearings. Yeah. But we turn away empty. So we have a generation that is living in a time of spiritual farming. Somebody need to help me. Spiritual farming. But can I tell you, God yet have a people in every dispensation, in every generation, God reserved to himself a people for he set apart the godly for himself. Those that will live right and in a church in him, he has set a mark upon them. Yes. Hallelujah Jesus. Because we know in whom we believe yes. and we are persuaded yes. that he is able to do exceeding yes. and abundant yes. above all that we may ask or take that I get a church in here. Yes. Hallelujah Jesus. Who have given him glory. Somebody yes. say it. Yes. Yes. God wants them you tonight because this journey that we have embarked is a long journey and we need to be fueled up charged up motivated we have to be ready to complete the race Finish the race. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, finish the race. 
finish the race. Because you can forfeit your blessing. You can forfeit your blessing. We have been so accustomed and we have set our compass so so much on the blessing. We 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 will we miss the greater picture which is not here on this earth but it's beyond this terrestrial it's in heaven somebody ain't saying nothing here it is in heaven that's where our focus should be our focus should be on heavenly things set your affections on things above not on things of the earth for the things of the earth are temporal but the things of the heavenly are eternal set your heart set your affection set your desires on heavenly things these things the bible says they said not I'm not talking about material things. The Spirit of the Lord is not talking about natural things. God is talking about spiritual things. Heavenly things. Because we said last night, some people believe that you become extinct yeah. and you cease to exist. Uh -huh. Your conscience cease yeah. after death. Yeah. God said no. Amen. Because he said in the book of Hebrews 9 and 27 as we have read last night. He said that after this, after death, cometh the judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. I remember there was a time that's the only message you used to hear. Uh -huh. Get your soul right. Yes. Yes. Come on. Amen. Come into the ark now. Amen. It's going to read. Amen. Come on, the say amen. amen. But those that will be wise will hearken yes. to the voice of God yes. through his servants. Oh, As Noah was preached 120 years, but the scriptures said eight souls were saved. Eight souls were saved. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, tonight, by the holy name Jesus, oh, we lift up our souls unto thee. We lift up our spirits unto thee. Lord, we give you the glory tonight. Oh, God, our Father, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you continue to hover over this tent. Uh, oh, God, and I pray that the smoke of your presence uh, will fill this sanctuary. Uh, my God, hallelujah, and saturate the lives of your people. Uh, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus uh, that you will elevate us hallelujah and establish us even greater in the faith oh god that we will not miss out on our heavenly calling in the name of jesus anoint that servant lord and use me for this hour i give myself over to thee for this same cause in the name of the lord jesus somebody bless him in this house tonight come on clap your hands and give him glory clap those hands and give him glory. Don't forfeit your blessings. Don't relinquish them. Don't lose them. Don't give them up. Don't renounce them. Don't allow yourselves to be deprived of them. Hallelujah. Set your sight on them. All right. Hallelujah. Fix your heart on them. Yeah. For 
are the blessing we speak is the heavenly calling. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible said we must hold fast to that which we have and let no man steal your crown. Amen. Can I tell you tonight that the devil is as a roaring lion and he walking about seeking whom soul that he shall devour.
Hallelujah. Can I tell this church that the devil don't want you to receive your promises? Don't forfeit it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and 20. He said, For all, for all, not some, not some promises, but all the promises of God in Him. Who is this Him? In Christ. Jesus is the down payment. Amen. He is the surety. Amen. Somebody need to say amen. amen. He's the surety. By the very fact, amen, praise God, that he came into the world. The devil said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. So amen, the devil knew. Come on, somebody. He knew the scriptures that Amen. That a virgin to conceive, but he did not understood. Amen. The plan of God. Somebody say hallelujah. That it went out that after Jesus would die. Amen. Many more Jesus would raise up. Look at your name and say neighbor. Amen. You are the Jesus in the earth. Say neighbor. You are the Jesus in the earth. That's who you are. Come on and say amen. It's time that we put the Somebody better give him glory. I said, time we put the devil in this place. Somebody shout hallelujah. What Jesus said, I've seen Satan as lightning fall to the ground. Somebody shout amen. But he had exalted us and caused us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Let's put the devil in this place. Somebody give him glory. Let's make the devil. Promises. Yes. Not some. Not some. Not some. He will fulfill every one of his promises he has made to you. To him that believe it, all things. Possible. Did you hear that? He said, if you have faith as a green of mustard seed, you will say unto this mountain, 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 get out of my way. Mountain, I say unto thee, be removed. This mountain, this mountain, whatever that circumstance, whatever that situation, whatever that problem, whatever that affliction, whatever that need, you will say, believe the word of God, believe the word of God. Sometimes I pray. I said, God, help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Because as, a, as humans, we have to believe that God is. We're not going to see him with our natural eyes. Come on, somebody. We have to believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Can I get somebody who can testify and declare I will trust in the Lord? Every time you go to this world, you have to make it perfect. 
personal. Make it personal. All scriptures are given by inspiration of God and is profitable for instruction, for correction, for, 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 for righteousness, rebuke. Somebody say amen. amen. Make it personal. When you read, clean it. And when you clean it, declare it. I need a church in this house. I need a church in this house. Declare it. Go with me to the book of Hebrew quickly. Hebrew 11. Hebrew 11, watch what it says. Look at verse number 13. Right. If you have it, say amen. amen. 11 and 13 says, These all die in faith. The book of this 11th chapter of Hebrews, amen, talks about the saints that have gone before. That's right. amen. And how they have overcome. Yes. And the trials and struggles they have to endure. Yes. But they finished the call. Yes. They kept the faith. Yes. They held on to the promise. Yes. Not having received the promise. See, some things in this world you ain't going to get. You have some folks trying to fill your head. To make you believe that all came into the world together to be a billionaire. That ain't no true. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody ain't gonna own a big mansion. Amen. Yeah. Everybody ain't gonna drive in 2017. Yeah. I'm in a church in here. Yeah. If you set your heart and affection on these natural things, you're gonna become discouraged. Set your affection yeah. on things above. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. So some of the promises they didn't receive. Right. Well, watch what the Bible said. Watch what it said. But having seen them afar off, God made them a promise. And the Bible said, Abraham believed God yeah. and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. Yeah. So when, when God made promise and when God spoke to Abraham, amen, Abraham believed that this was the everlasting God that was speaking to him and it was impossible for him to lie. Amen. That's why God was so impressed with this man. Abraham, come on, there was not a similitude, an image, but Abraham heard a voice. And the Bible said God introduced himself to Abraham by the Lord God Almighty. Somebody shout hallelujah. And Abraham believed God. See, he believed God. So then God spoke to him. The Bible said he cast his affection. He cast his eyes on those things. And not being weak in faith, he declared that he is able to do exceeding and abundant above all that I may ask or think. He is the everlasting God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. He, they saw these things afar off. And the Bible said they were persuaded. You gotta be persuaded that there's a place called heaven. But Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. 
and if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am there shall ye be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Somebody ask him, Lord, how shall we go the way? I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm the way of glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh God, I feel like preaching today. Shout hallelujah. Shout glory to God. Somebody give Jesus a praise in this house. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. The Bible says Jacob saw a ladder. And this ladder extends from the earth to heaven. And he saw angels descending and ascending. Somebody say amen. And the Bible said, Amen. Jacob saw the Lord standing on the top of the ladder. He saw the Lord standing on top of the ladder. And Jacob said that this is a dreadful place. For this is none other than the house of God. And the gate to heaven. Can I tell you you're in the gate? You're in the gates of heaven right now. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy. You are in the gate of glory right now. You can't get into heaven unless you get in the church. I'm not talking about the tent. I'm not talking about the structure. I'm talking about getting in the church. You don't write your name on a roll. No, sir. Lord, no. oh, help us see here. Not because your name is on a roll. A church register. Uh -huh. Me not you in the church. No. Oh no. You got to be blood washed. Yes. You got to be sanctified. You got to be baptized. Come on somebody. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody give him glory. Because the Holy Ghost is the power. It's going to take you from way to glory. Somebody say it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go with me to the book of Hebrews, chapter, chapter 6. Hebrews, chapter 6. Look at verse 13. For when God made promise to Abram because he could swear by no greater he swore by himself did you hear that we read it's impossible it's impossible for God to lie let every man be a liar but let God be true. The Bible says so that we can have a sure consolation. If the word of God is not, if the word of God don't stand, we don't have hope. You're right. Amen. That's right. Amen. And because we have hope, we fled to 
refuge in the word of God. Yeah. Right. So when he made promise to Abraham, watch what the Bible said. He swore uh -huh. by himself. Yeah. His word is immutable. Yeah. His word is unchangeable. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But the Bible said, because he wanted to prove his faithfulness to Abraham. Uh -huh. He said, not only I'm I am going to give you my word. Don't swear. But I'm going to make an oath. What's in the Bible say? Jesus. What's in the Bible say? He swore by himself because there was no greater. Watch this. He said, Surely blessing, I will bless thee. And multiplying, I will multiply thee. When we come into Jesus, Jesus was that prophecy that was spoken to Abraham when he said, Thy seed will possess the earth. Jesus was the seed. So when we come into, into the faith, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior,
we don't trust God with the process. See? We don't trust him with the process. He that made you the promise is sure. His word is sure. His word is true. But what the devil does is he manipulated and influenced our mind. And now many people are measuring God by natural man standard. See? We're measuring God by the natural standard. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. He is not a man. Amen. So you can't equate him. You can't measure him. You cannot equal him Amen. like a man. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody get the glory in here. People have church. I need the church to be the church. So after he had patiently endured. See, so when God made promise to Abraham, Abraham had to have had enough faith yes. to believe God. Yeah. And the scripture said, after he had patiently endured, you're going to have to go through some stuff to get the promise. Yes. 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 That's right. That's right. It's amazing how when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, the scripture said, God made them a promise to take them into the promised land. Amen. Anybody with me here tonight? Amen. I said, God made me a promise. God made me a promise. He made us a promise to take us into the promised land. Clap your hand for the young men that are in the house. Young men, I call you because you're strong. And you're going to overcome the world because the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 What are we going to do right now? We want to pray for these young men. Is that all right? Yeah. See, we are in. We got to get them in. Yeah. Somebody say amen.